Hello, and uh, welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we're going to do some uh, signal timing. The data have been given to us, and the uh, uh, peak hour factor is 0 0.95. That means we have to convert this to equal hour factor, which we'll do in a minute. And uh, as you can see, we have uh, traffic on f our four phases. For example, here going north, we have 100 going straight, 206 going straight and right, and then left turn, we have 352 and so on and so forth. And our, we're going to go ahead and find out what is the uh, uh, green time for each phase it's going to be. And in this problem, as we can see on a board, we have, uh, have to calculate the uh, 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 loss time. The loss time is a lot of time when you come to a traffic and the light is red. And when it turn to a green, the first few vehicle it takes a little time for them to get going. And there's a, some lost time there. And also, when it's red on this side and it's green on the other side and turn to yellow, turn to red, there's a little bit of a red clearance allows. So both sides will be red for a little short while to allow the vehicle to clear the intersection. We call that the last time. So we're going to give it the last time of three seconds combined. Take a look at the Excel sheet. Let me bring it up. We take those data, which is given right here. It's this row right there. And we have all four phases, eastbound, westbound, southbound, and northbound. And I wrote it down right here. And uh, this data is given to us. And uh, the peak hour design factor is given 0.95. So we're going to convert it to uh, this to an equal hourly flow by multiplying this number above right here, multi divided by, I mean, by 0.95 and we get a higher number. So this is our new flow rate. Also what's given to us is the saturation rate right here in this here. Let me make that to yellow. That's also given. So we're going to go ahead and divide the um, flow over the saturation for each one of them in Excel and we come up with this number. And then we go to the next row. We're going to take the highest of each phase. For example, an eastbound phase the highest uh, saturation uh, 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 flow to the saturation ratio is 0.283. And we do the same thing for the westbound, southbound, and uh, uh, for the northbound. And we take the total of all, which will become 0.776. So we have this number. Then we're going to go ahead and see, using all those equations to, cal to calculate the uh, green time. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to compute uh, Total loss time. And we said the uh, L is equal summation of all individual L for here, for here, for here. We give it three seconds for this phase, three seconds for that phase, three seconds for that phase, three seconds for that phase, and total loss time will be uh, four times three, and that's equal 12 seconds. And then we, from the Excel, we had the uh, summation of y i came out to be uh, 0.776. Let's keep eye on this number for now. And we're going to. So now we're going to go ahead and compute optimum cycle time. Uh, it's given by this equation, which is one half time uh, loss time plus 5 divided by 1 minus summation of all the individual, which we calculated this in Excel. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the number. So it's equal 1.5. Time uh, L was uh, uh, 12 seconds, and then we have uh, plus 5. And divide that by 1 minus, and that believe it came out to 0 0.776, 0 0.776, and our total loss time comes out to be 102.68 second. Now, we can't use that. you got to go to the next nearest round number to a 5. This color say use 5. All right? Use uh, 105 second. So our total effective green time is going to be um, total uh, cycle time minus the last time, 105 time minus 12. That makes it about 93 seconds. OK, so now we're going to go ahead and calculate the effective time for each phase. And that's given by this equation. But because of the Excel, you bring all those numbers in, and it's going to become basically yi divided by 0.776 times 93 seconds. 
So now we can go ahead and calculate each individual, saying basically they are um, G A I equal G E I minus L I minus T second. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and calculate the uh, actual green time, which is given by GI minus LI minus the yellow time. So the yellow time was given to us three seconds. And in this case, the total, uh, the uh, lost time was three seconds. So that these two numbers, this is going to be three, and that's going to be three seconds. And we're going to go ahead and do each phase, phase A, B, C, D, like the way we had in, in Excel. I'm going to go ahead and write it down here, make a new line right here, and we can go work on so we're going to calculate the actual green time for phase A, and we're going to use this equation here. So it's going to be a G A A is equal, and our number right here, Y I for that phase using the Excel, the highest one came out to be 0 0.283, 0 0.283, and divide that by the uh, total was 0 0.776 and then we're going to multiply by uh, 93 uh, by 93 and then we're going to take out the uh, all right so this be plus so it's going to be plus 3 minus 3 and that will give us uh, almost uh, uh, 34 second 34 second so now I'm going to go ahead and find the actual time for uh, the actual time, green time, for phase B. And uh, it's going to be uh, GAB equal, and the total for that one came out to 0.196 divided by 0.776 times 93 plus 3 minus 3, and that comes out to 23.5 seconds. And we're going to do the same thing for uh, phase uh, G, A, for phase C, and that would be uh, 0 0.0767 divided by 0 0.776 times 93 plus 3 minus 3, and that will give us uh, 8 seconds. Finally, the last phase is going to be uh, G, A, D, and a D phase was 23 seconds, 0.23, divided by 0.776, times 93 plus 3 minus 3, and that comes out to 27 and a half second. So these are green time for each phase. What is the green time for this phase? What is the green time for this phase? And what's the green time for this phase? Remember how you have, you have the phase. Sometimes you have a more phases. You might have a red, uh, yellow, arrow green in here, and that we can do that. Uh, and we take this number and we go to the uh, computer program, Autodesk InfraWorks, and we have that on, uh, online to watch that one and individually uh, time these uh, left turns. But in here, what is the green term for these guys to go, right? Let's all combine. And you can clear that out. So this was using Webster method.